to Wrestling One of Karen's Podcast, and of course this is Raw at the Show, baby! And we on the road to SummerSlam! And that means that we're on the end of summer, you guys! Holy bananas! I can't believe that we're on the, the verge of, like, the end of summer. It's crazy! I mean, school starts back in September for us here in Virginia. Um, so it's crazy. Very crazy. Um, this is another student of the WWF shows. And don't forget to check out all the stuff down below in the description below. And check out the eye. Because there should be, fingers crossed, a new gameplay. Hopefully. So <laughs> go check out that. Um, I did do a SummerSlam gameplay. Speaking of this channel. Coach still hurts. Anyways, there should be a gameplay. It's the the gameplay that I talked about a few weeks ago, the Bray versus Alster. I'm gonna upload it because it's been sitting on YouTube for the last few weeks. It's just private. Um, so I'm gonna just upload it. You know, it's been you know, might as well just use it. So I'm gonna just put it out there. It's just gonna be like a dream match. Might as well use it. So why not? I don't know. So, I don't know when it'll be up. Maybe this weekend. Stay tuned. Anyways, this is Raw at the Show, baby. Don't forget to check out the latest video right here. And also check out all the stuff below, below because you can check out the podcast and all that. There should be a new podcast, hopefully, tomorrow, which is Friday. I don't know. We'll see. I never know. <laughs> It just depends because, like, I never know what I'm going to do. So it just always depends. If I don't have any ad deals, I'll postpone it for, like, the following week. I just sometimes it just depends. Usually it's been working out, but it just depends. Also, it's almost the end of this month, so we're waiting for the end of this month. That's so we can do the top 10 of the July. So, we're almost there. Alright, let's get on to it. This is Raw at the show, baby. And I almost recorded SmackDown today. Today is just one of those days today. <laughs> anyways, let's get on to it. Uh, anyways, Rob is up with Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman come into the ring. Heyman brings up Lesnar, um, bra brags about Lesnar retaining the title last night at Extreme Rules and says... He told everyone that this would happen and no one believed him. Heyman announced his battle role to find out who would be the number one contender for Lesnar at SummerSlam. Um, the Usos and Ricochet versus the rival and Bobby Roode in a two out of three falls match. Can I just point out that I did not realize that this was a two out of three falls match until Ricochet um, got one of the falls. And I'm like, is this a two out of falls match? Did I not realize this? And I wasn't the only one that didn't realize that. Because everyone was tweeting about it too. And I was so confused as well. I'm like, did they not announce this? Was it two I was, so, I was so confused. Anyways, the Usos in the Ricochet one. The club comes out to gloat about Ricochet. Drives, um, dives over the um, to gloat. But Ricochet dives over the top rope. But to take out... To uh, to take um oh gosh I'm just mm. um da 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 the cloud comes out to gloat but Ricochet dives over the top rope to take out Styles there we go I was just reading over it too much mm. I had it right almost the first time but I read it wrong really you know it's just one of those days today you guys it's tickly Monday. Maybe it is. Um, the Usos help him take out um, Anderson and Gallows. But the rival and Rude help the club get the upper hand, of course. The Viking Raiders versus Two Dobbers. The Viking Raiders on. Drew Malik versus Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander on. Jeez. Can I not butcher that name today? Thanks. Uh, excuse me, jeez. Okay, Finn Balor versus Samoa Joe. Joe ended up giving him a quick win with um, the Suflix pin. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. But he doesn't um, stop. Uh, that doesn't stop him from attacking Balor. He applies the. Oh, I hate trying to say his move. Um, he, the clutch. Um, but Balor is able to counter out of it. 
he dropped quicks um joe and his uh coupe de, de la grace i've been trying to work on the moves and like some of the names of the moves i've been trying to work on that and some of the names because uh, i'm really bad about names sometimes not just in wrestling but out of wrestling i'm really bad at pronouncing things so i've been trying to work on that more so if you see me trying to say things and it's wrong or it's pronouncing things incorrectly just just bear with me i'm trying to get better at pronouncing things um just to make it better for youtube and for me in general so bear with me i am I, I, I suck at pronouncing things in general not just in wwe but in general I suck at it. It's just, it's just who I am. Okay, we hear some weird noises and the lights go out. Bray Wyatt appears in the ring and hits Bali with Sister Abigail. It's so great that he's still doing that move. I was wondering if he was going to have new moves or not because he has a new character and all. Um, so it's really great to see him finally return um, or redebut um, in WWE. So I was really happy to see him finally. I can't wait to see what um, he does soon and um, just to see what he does i'm just so happy to see him finally all right zach Ryder versus uh mike um canellas why did they give uh her last name to him it's just so weird i still can't get over it and it's just so stupid okay anyways zach Ryder won the club versus lucha house party the club won um what almost said alex Alexa Bliss um, versus uh, Carmella versus Naomi versus Natalya in a fatal four-way elimination match. Natalya won and will be facing Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's title at SummerSlam. And I am pumped for this. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care who is complaining. But I am pumped for this. I was actually rooting for Naomi and Natalya. Both of those women I was rooting for. I was hyped to finally see one. Um different win other than Alexa. I love her to death but I'm hyped to see someone other than her go at the title. So I'm very happy that we're seeing Becky Lynch and Natalya at SummerSlam. I can't wait to see that. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna drink. My throat's just like help. <laughs> I feel like I'm Spongebob in that one episode where he's you know dehydrated and needs water. Water! Hold on put the Gift, but I'll probably get <coughs> mm. Speaking of SpongeBob, happy birthday, SpongeBob! I don't, know, I don't think this is today, but I know it's coming up soon. So, happy birthday, SpongeBob! Can't believe it's been what 20 years now. Oh my goodness gracious! Okay, Natalia has a post most uh post match interview. Natalia says that she is happy about the fact that. She gets to face her friend in her home country of Canada, but Becky Lynch doesn't um doesn't really care. Um Becky Lynch says that her career needs something um and that and she's it. Um, she wants Natty to bring it or else she will wipe the floor with her. And Lynch says that she has learned if she's learning things, she does um better in war than love. Natalia says that she must not be a very good lover. And that Natty will use her orange hair as a mop and <laughs> they get into each other's fight uh, and, and in, into each other's face until a ref get into the middle of the two and then Natalia walks away. I really enjoyed that honestly. I really liked that. It was really it was really intense and honestly awesome. I, I enjoyed it. Okay, the Miz is in the ring after the break and he brings Dolph Ziggler out as his guest. Ziggler says the man um, has become a company's stooge and he's happy, he just had to be here and he asks what it's like not to be booked last night and it, Miz says it's better to not, uh, than to be losing in 17 seconds, get a point. Um, he says the Miz is better um, than the, this and he has become everything that's wrong with this for Miz and Miz texts him as he heads to the ring. Probably gonna get the Miz versus Dr. Ziggler soon, aren't we? That and Kevin Owens and Streamman. But this ain't. <laughs> Alright, and Jake Mac. Uh, we're gonna sit up. Our truth is the new, you know, he, he just gets his the 24-7 title back, okay? I, I don't care about that stupid sex scene wannabe thing. It was so stupid and ridiculous. Let's move on. 
Alright, Battle Royal for the number one contender for the Universe you know, title for SummerSlam to face Brock Lesnar. Seth Rollins won and will be facing Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam for the Universal title. And I love Seth Rollins and to death, actually, we kind of have differences ever since that John Moxley interview, but let's not talk about that. Anyways, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, I make cough and sit. Oh, wait. Anyways, I really, 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 really wanted someone different to win, but I figured we'll probably see Brock Lesnar and Seth Rollins win again. I mean, I really figured we would see it again, you know what I mean? I just figured we would see it again. It's just how it is. But I really thought, I was really hoping to see Randy Orton win. But it's okay. It's okay. It's alright. I was really want I was really wanting that, to be honest. Man. Paul Heyman tries to give him a proper winner's in announcement. Seth Rollins tells Paul Heyman to shut up and he must become the Universal Heavy Tank Champion. And Lester is in sense and walks towards the ring with still cage, a uh, still chair, and still cage. Uh, could you imagine? It's still cage. <laughs> Anyways, he slams uh, the ring of apron with it and walks away rating 80 out of 80 great show matches and we look forward to SummerSlam. and anyways that's all i have guys today for of course for all at the show hope you guys enjoy this and i'm so sorry for all being all over the place but it's just one of those days today like i said you know it's okay anyways um hope you guys enjoy this and i'll see you guys soon for smackdown live at the show boy boy and anyways, um, go check out also down below in the and of course check it out for all this over there. And of course check out the latest video right here. Smash that subscribe button down below and smash it over there as well. And I'll see you guys soon. Comment down below what your favorite wall was and what you look forward to at SummerSlam. And I'll see you guys soon for Smackdown Live at the show. And until then, I hope you guys have a good day. Bye!